But in order for us to do this, we need to start here. Trends. Trends are durable price swings in markets. They show the general direction of a securities price over time. So there are three forms of trends, up, down, and sideways. So we call this the bull market, the bear market, and the consolidation. That's not an animal. Okay? The sideways is the hog market. Okay? So these are the three things that we need to know. And in order for us to do this, we need to use this tool. It's called trend lines. All right? So you notice on this slide here, you see the blue line that's going up and the red line that's going down? See it? Those are trend lines. All right? So let's do it like this. When you have trend lines, you want to see whether or not the share, overall share prices are going up and overall share prices are going down or they're just going sideways. Make sense? All right, it's, a, it's not as simple as it actually looks, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna go from the lowest point to the highest point and you wanna connect the lows like this. You see it? How come we wanna connect the lows? How come we don't wanna draw our trend lines above price? There's a reason why we draw the trend lines below price, by the way, okay? It's because if the trend line is broken, does the overall trend change, yes or no? Yes. If we draw our line above price and it's broken pa akyat, does the trend change? No, right? So we need to know when the trends are changing. That is when you guys should be selling. Make sense? All right, so the opposite, is this. You want to connect the highs when the trend is going down, and when the trends are going sideways, we're drawing two lines. Is this good? Difficult? All right. The best part about this kind of session is that you have a table in front of you and you have worksheets. So our objective today is to use those worksheets, okay? I want you guys to write as much as you can on those worksheets. That's what they're there for. Okay? So on the very first page, you have exercise number one. You guys see it? All right? And I want you guys to look at it and stare at it. And I hope none of you have drawn on it yet. Okay? Because I saw some people already doodling in on, on it earlier. Okay? And I want you to look at it, and I want you to visualize if you could cut it into two pieces. Can you see it? Can, can you see it? Can you cut it into two pieces? Yes or no? Yeah? Are you sure? Okay. You guys got it? Right? Okay. And on the one the pocket, this one here, I want you to draw a line that connects all the lows. Right? You guys see it? We good so far? Good so far? You connect all the lows. It's like connect the dots, except it's all the lows. All right? On the other, ha on the other side, I want you to connect all the, the highs. Okay? But I want you to go from the highest point to the lowest point. That means that it's coming, it, the line should look like this. All right? I, how, so the question is, how come I don't connect it to the very last point? Does that make sense? How come I didn't? Right? It's because the lowest point of the chart is not afterwards, right? It's here. You guys see it? And this is where I need to end my downtrend. It's the lowest point. Does that make sense? So I want you to be able to connect the high all the way to the lowest point. Are you guys good? You guys still with me? Yes? All right. So what do we have today? What do we have today? Back at Nolet. Right? Okay. This is one of the stocks that you guys asked for in your top 10, okay? So we'll talk about this extensively later on. But since that line is now broken, right? So the blue line was broken. This is where you should have been selling. Does anyone know this stock? This stock is Mega World. Anyone here have Mega World? Why didn't you sell it? Long term. <laughs> Saket, no? 
Right? Sakit, no? Guys, this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you had sold it closer to 540, would you have the mental state to pick it up at 450? Yes or no? Yes. You see? Is it, is it, is it that difficult? Right? So when we sell it at that point, today, it's an opportunity to, for you to really pick up shares again. Right? Do you, who, those who are holding Mega World, do you still like Mega World? Are you sure? Yes? So if you like it, opportunities are opening. Does that make sense? All right. So do we buy this outright? No. Okay. The reason why is I will add more later on. Okay? Good? Good? All right. This is what I'm going to add. This is the most simplest thing in all of... Lahat simple, no? Okay. These... Multicolored lines, you see it? Yellow, blue, uh, maroon, and orange. You see those four lines? These four lines are moving averages, okay? So the key word in moving averages is? Moving or average? It's, no, average, average, okay? Okay. If you knew the market's average price of a stock, do you have an edge? Okay, think about it like this. If you're looking at your portfolios, right? Looking at your portfolios. And if your portfolio is super red. <laughs> okay, medyo red na lang, hindi super red. Okay? If your portfolios are red. And one day miraculously the Lord blesses us. Paglingo mo, tabla ka na. What are you doing? What are you doing? Selling. Bakit? Bakit? Gumawa kayo ng kalokohan, hindi kayo pinarusahan. Tama? Does that make sense? What do you think happens if the market breaks even? What do you think happens if the market breaks even? What do you think people will be doing? Selling. So is it important for you guys to know what the average price of the market is? Yes. How do we find it? It's this. Right? And we use four different time frames, okay? So 200 EMA. Back at 200, okay. How many weeks in a year? 52, right? How many working days in a week? Five. If I multiply 52 times five, that's how many working days there are in a year. Yes or no? Yes or no? 52 times five. Tama? Does that equal 200? What number is that? 52 times five is what? 260. So, why 200? There are many holiday, may bagyo, may ano. <laughs> right? Almost are not going Right? We have so many off days. So, nangyari sa dulo, hindi natin alam, diretso 200 na lang tayo. Okay? That's how the Americans work. <laughs> Alright? So, 200, 100, a quarter, and sometimes we use one month trading. Okay? That's how it works. Okay? Why do we use these numbers? Why are these numbers important? There are two numbers especially most important. It's the 50 and the 200. How come? What happens during those periods? Quarterly earnings. Is that important? Full year earnings, is that important? Yes. Okay. Can your opinion of a stock change based on one quarter's earnings? Yes or no? Yes. You can go from a sell to a buy based on one quarter's earnings. Yes or no? Yes, so it's most important for us to understand those two numbers. The 50, which is the blue line here, and the 200, which is the orange line. Does that make sense? All right, so those are the two key things that we're going to be looking at. Moving forward, most of the charts will only be 50-day and 200-day. Got it? So what's going to happen is the 50-day will be yellow, the 200-day will be in color blue. Okay, moving forward.
Okay? We okay so far? You guys still with me?